This is first of four. Well, we start this afternoon with a look at the aftermath of a charter bus and a streetcar collision in Tampa. Fire officials tell eight on your side only one person needed to be transported to the hospital, but boy, that crash caused a downtown traffic nightmare. Eight on your side's Justin Shecker is live at the corner of Channel Side Drive and Franklin Street, and that is a busy intersection any time of day. Yeah, Josh and Stacy. good afternoon. This intersection is right across from the Tampa Convention Center. Now, for hours, there have been traffic backups in all directions here. Crews continue to work carefully on the streetcar that dislodged from the tracks after police say a charter bus turned right in front of it. And we just learned that police cited that bus driver with failure to obey a traffic control device. I think it's crazy. This morning, Nina Kennedy from New York hopped on the streetcar for a ride from downtown to Ybor City. And all of a sudden, the bus turned right in front of the trolley. And uh, we couldn't believe it. We were just like, oh my gosh, we, it didn't even seem real. Tampa police tell eight on your side. This charter bus taking passengers to a cruise caused the streetcar derailment when it turned from Franklin Street onto Channel Side Drive. He didn't see him until it was too late. Bob Montgomery says he was one of about three dozen people on board the bus. A number of people said, look out, look out, and then there's a crunch. Both the bus and streetcar were moving slowly, according to fire officials, and none of the passengers suffered serious injuries. But paramedics took the streetcar driver away on a stretcher to the hospital. He had a pretty big impact on his um, elbow. This midday collision and derailment had quite the impact on downtown traffic. Very busy intersection downtown, but they're, they're doing it as, as quickly, but more importantly, as safely as possible to get this intersection open back up. Not what Kennedy expected on her vacation to Tampa. She told me she's feeling sore, but knows this could have been much worse. If that trolley would have fallen on its side, we would have been in, in great injury. And back out here live, traffic is back to normal at this hour. Uh, recently, Franklin headed toward downtown reopened just a couple minutes ago. Reporting live in downtown Tampa, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.